Hello, today we are going to have a talk with Sister Carrie about Advent and why do we need Advent? What is Advent? And why do we celebrate it? And I'm um, hoping Sister Carrie can help illuminate some of these ideas for us and help us as we go into Advent that um, it can become more meaningful to us. So thank you for oh, joining me. Well, thank you for inviting me. This is wonderful. Good. I'd love to have this opportunity. We'll have to do this more often. Yes. <laughs> we'll think of another topic. Yeah. <laughs> can you just start with what is Advent and well, why do we need it? Okay. Well, I have to go back just a little bit uh, and uh, to explain that uh, liturgy is all about our full conscious and active participation. So we hear that expression so often. Uh, in the documents and so on. So just like you have a calendar mm -hmm. for your appointments and your life is all laid out for the month, um, mm -hmm. so the church, the church has a calendar and that keeps us kind of on track mm -hmm. okay. because the calendar is all about Jesus' life, death, and resurrection and the main events in his life. Right. And sprinkled throughout the calendar are all the feast days of saints, and it's very involved. But so right. today you're talking about you want to know about Advent. Yeah. So um, I guess we could say that um, this whole uh, season in history. Um, um, evolved and began about in the fourth century. Oh. So it wasn't like something decided, you know, 50 years ago yeah. or 100 years ago. It goes way back yeah. in, yeah. in on church history. Yeah. And um, by the Middle Ages, Advent became four weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there are, uh, let's see, there are three uh, main uh, pieces of focus, uh, areas of focus for Advent. And uh, just as families celebrate the birthdays, right. the birth of a child, <clears throat> so, and maybe even bring out baby pictures <laughs> yep. on birthdays, um, so the church is uh, coming together to give thanks for the birth of Christ. For the full four weeks. Um, Actually, we are preparing, preparing for, the birth of Christ. Um, for that celebration, okay. what we remember, you know, in history as the actual birth of Christ. And so um, Christmas is that celebration and right. Advent gets us ready. Okay. And then, of course, we have um, Jesus coming at the end of time. So that's also part of the Advent uh, um, preparation for us. We are preparing for Jesus coming on the final days, which and we don't know when that's when going to that happen. Is, yeah. But then, and I think something, an idea about Advent that I think is overlooked is that um, we need to notice uh, Jesus' presence today. Yeah. Also. So, yeah. his birth, the end times, and then throughout our daily life. The right. Lord is present. So Advent is a way to kind of wake us up and um, you know, help us to pay attention to Jesus' presence in, in those three three ways. Right. Um, <clears throat> so actually a person could Google Advent yeah. And you can find out all kinds of history and practices and symbolism. I have done that. Good, good. <laughs> that is unlimited. Yeah. And the story goes, if you Google it, yep. that in 1839, well, actually, the, the idea of the Advent wreath goes back to the 16th century. Oh, wow. Okay. And in 1839, a minister observed that children were becoming impatient yes. about waiting for Christmas. Christmas. And so that hasn't changed. Right, so that's just the same. <laughs> yeah, and so what he did was um, he made a ring of wood and he had 19 small red tapers 
and four large white candles. And every morning a small candle was lit, and every Sunday a large candle. And the custom today, of course, is to have four candles. Four candles, yep. And okay. so the children could light the taper and say, oh, okay, we have one well, down. Yeah, yeah, have yeah, all this we have how many weeks to, to go. go. So we do need Advent. And the church has wisely, I think over the centuries, um, has helped us in uh, paying attention and with the spirit of thanksgiving also that Jesus was born. Right. And um, um, so Advent we kind of clear the clutter and our, our culture doesn't help us. No, I was going to say it's counterintuitive to what yes. we do in December yes. when our life is mm -hmm. packed all. Yes, you go into the dollar stores or wherever you're yeah. going and it's just chock full, even yeah. before Halloween. Yeah. And so Christians are, in a sense, countercultural, and at least we try to be in some respect. Right. So maybe even in our home, we can keep it low key, the Advent season, enter into a bit of silence, the idea of waiting, yeah. anticipation, uh, longing for the Lord to come, not necessarily that we're imagining he's still coming as a baby, right, you know, right, right. but we are, um, we are as humans kind of wired for ritual, and so I think just doing um, physically yep. some things, holding back on some decorations, uh, waiting for the moment yep. of celebration, um, whatever we can do, have some silence in one's life. Yeah. Um, because we're always, we're always personally and spiritually, we're, we're longing for the Lord to come more deeply into our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's all played out in this Christmas um, event. Right. And when you have your Sunday night ritual, like we do at our house, we have the wreath and the candles, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. read verses and have a mm -hmm. family prayer for it. And, it, I think it, it creates, it helps prepare for the moment, yes. but it creates this time of just uh, the family together, mm -hmm. um, praying and, and remembering. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. making it special. And, you know, my girls fight over who's lighting the candle that night. Sure, but, yes. Um, so, yeah, and I agree, we, the, the ritual of it is something that's very important to all of us. Mm -hmm. and, I think over the last two years especially we realized how important these community ritual things are to us right and how important it is to remember what's important yes you know what is what is important in our life yeah. and you know the candles themselves um you know it's just a symbol you know that the flame shatters darkness yeah uh, and we have one candle and that we try to move away from darkness yeah in our life and in our world and our society, um, candles are a sign of hope that light can overcome the darkness. Um, and each week believes has a theme of mm -hmm. uh, the theme of that of mm -hmm. the things we all long for: joy, hope, yes. faith. Yes. Yes. You know, it's and love. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's a. It's actually a joyful experience. I think Advent is. Yes. Of. Um, joy in the fact that in all of this craziness yes we're not alone and yes we're taken care of yes. and just remembering that we don't have to be part of the what's going on outside of us that true you can safe. make choices as a family uh, in your own personal life yeah. your personal prayer life um, and I just got onto another app Oh, <laughs> they love apps. And it's called Hello, H A. -L -L yes, I've heard of it. Yeah. O W, and yeah. I love it. Yeah, it really engages me in the scriptures for the day. Yeah. Um. So, um, because we have so many resources. Yeah. So many resources, we really don't have any excuse. <laughs> we don't have an excuse anymore. No, no. And I think this is also a time. Uh, I think people are pretty spiritually tired right mm. now and maybe even numb 
from the last, I'd say, what, two years, experiences yes. of being scared and anxious and isolated and lonely. Um, what I think Advent is a really beautiful time for us to re-energize, reawaken, yes. you know, and, and bring ourselves back by focusing on you know, what's the important. really important things. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And what do you think, how do you think we can better keep Christ and Jesus at the center of starting at Advent through up to uh, Christmas? I do think it's a, um, it's a personal commitment. Yeah. Um, to make uh, kind of um, set up sort of guardrails maybe for yeah. ourselves uh, because there's so many inroads <clears throat> into, you know, from society, from all the parties that are ready yeah. Christmas parties before Christmas. Yeah. Um, so what are the choices that a family um, is going to make? What are the choices going to be? How are right. we going to anticipate Christmas? and keep Advent um, a sacred time. Yeah. Not that there won't be Christmas parties, <clears throat> but how do we keep the lid on, right. so to speak? Um, and seek out Christ um, in daily life. Yep. Mm -hmm. How do we, how, Fight we're space. all seekers. Yeah. Yes, how do we see Christ? Yeah. And how do we see Christ? Right. Mm -hmm. Kind of like going to the gym. Yes, yes. You, you have to start setting aside time. Mm -hmm. and that's, you know, and that's one nice thing I think about the Advent, the wreath the, the read with the candles, is you set the time to create this tradition with your family, mm -hmm. that it could start mm -hmm. this process of stopping, focusing. Yes, you know, hold back. Yeah. Uh, in fact, have an evening meal together. Yeah. Well, nowadays, that's a special thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and then just have candles on the table, right? Yeah. And part of the uh, meal prayer. Um, yeah. It can be just the, uh, the routine during Advent. Yeah. And to start, you know, for uh, young families, to start that right from the get go. Yes. You know, it's just like, you know, blessing your children before bed. Yes. It's like make the sign of the cross and they come to the parent to get their sign of the cross before they go to bed. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and then when they go on their first date, they still do that. Yes. <laughs> I will do that with my daughter. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. You know, it's those rituals. Yes. Um, yeah. We always put the tree up when I was growing up on uh, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Oh. And now, uh, you know, yeah. Um, that was just what we did. Yeah. Um, so, to um, to enrich your life, one's life through the um, customs of the church is just it's just. It makes it fuller. Yeah. More meaningful, mm -hmm. and yeah. not just. Yeah. Just, you know. Parties. Doing Christmas presents. cookies and. Yeah. That could be part of it, but. Yeah. You know. Well, I'm excited for Advent this year. Good. I'm looking forward to. A Return church and lots of candles and mm -hmm. um, so thank you very much for talking to me about Advent. And no, you're welcome. I hope you have a great Advent as we go into. Yes, Happy Advent and Christmas time. Thank you to everybody. <laughs>